I'm just an engineer, I guess. What kind of turrets? Let's randomize the turrets. Alright, we'll do stationary. Bop, bop, bop. Yeah, it's, uh, it's turret time. What is that? Bustling fungus. What a throw. Fapping? I'm not gonna print fungus. I'm gonna get fungus as soon as I can. Print one? No. If I get one for free, I'll use it for a bit, but... The dream of all engineer players, all five of them, true. Keep dreaming, baby. I see, uh, equipment. Ew. Gasoline, huge. We'll save the gas for last, just in case there is any good printer on this map. If there is one at all. I don't see one yet, though, so we're just dreaming. Can't avoid it forever, I guess. Which Bringer printers are real? I don't. I wish they weren't. Two runs in a row, get watch with uh, scrap on hand. I bless you. Thank you. I deserve to be blessed. It does explain a lot. I was like, dude, there's no way this is like the extra spawn boost. When he's gonna get a redo rack, I got his opinion, a ton of bungus engineer will have to accept the victory. I will scrap it. Every time. So, I will accept my free scrap, is what I'll do. Nice. An early card is always good. Engineer is whispering to for tower defense gamers. I actually like tower defense games. I just don't really play them that much. In concept, I like them though. Like, I like games like Sanctum. I thought that was fun, but there are just too many tower defense games that are just top down and have very simple uh, mechanics. What about the tower defense games where I get to aim and run around and defend shit? Like Simulacrum reforged into a tower defense mode. That would've been cool. Factorio does have a tower defense mode if you've ever played it. It's pretty cool. Dude, what the hell? I need this small startup TP wherever it is. Interesting. Enjoy. Yeah, at least we have uh, bands. That's so good. We've seen a way for tourist or proc bands. Shurikens, preferably. Alright, well. Do I mean give your drones their own drones, or your drones get the effects of drone man? They get a gun. I thought I remembered a take I used to have that Brit was good on NG, and I don't know. Remember if that's true or not. I mean, the turrets shoot a lot, I guess, but I don't know. It just depends if you're looping or not. Because Vrit is OP if you loop, no matter what character you are, I, I'm pretty sure. Just with everything going off. Hey, we get more bands, yeah. Do you need to find the button sooner than later, though? I don't know the Shuriken Race by Hot Damn, I feel like it fixes only on entry and mobile, and there's race for everyone else. I haven't used that mod, so I have no idea. And look what we got. Fucking hell, dude. I'm re-rolling it. You can't stop me. I will not live like this. There are some multi-shops who don't want to re-roll the card yet. Beautiful. Friggin needs fix? Yeah, so... On some characters... They kind of shoot like a full volley of things at a time. And when they do that, they don't shoot a shuriken like every bullet. They shoot at the start of every volley or whatever. Uh, and that can mean that you can only... Sometimes shoot a shuriken once every like hour. For the mobile turret specifically, they only shoot a shuriken every time they target a new enemy. So I mean, this like a good example is NG here. I shoot once when I charge it up, and then you know, it's not great, but I get it on engineer a little bit more. But on like multi or something, it doesn't make as much sense for the nail gun to be that way when you're just constantly shooting it. How different is item priority on stationary versus mobile turrets? I haven't really played NG. I think it's a pretty different thing. So like the mobile turrets, they don't have like amazing proc coefficient and stuff. So bleed and things like ATGs are gonna have more power behind them on these ones, the stationary. But the mobile turrets can utilize things like Gloop and Tesla and stuff way better, which is really cool. I wanna get this and re-roll it and get a chance to I'm looking for a gun. Scrap the Bungus? Yeah, I am. I'm gonna see if there's a, uh, a Wungus in the thing though first, because you might be able to go Veiled soon. Yep, you got it. Thank you. Never go for the guaranteed bands unless I'm on NG. I hate pot rolling with a passion. Well, time to learn. Time to get so good at it that uh, it's so easy and it only takes 30 seconds and then you don't have to hate it anymore because you're bad at it. And then you win every run forever. And then it was a happy ending to the story. And the supply beacons push them down. Loader pushes them down with their pylon. And there's a lot of free ways to get the the buttons done also. 
I'll take Avoid Scent. I should have rerolled it or something. In that moment when I picked it up, I was like, yeah, that looks pretty good. And then I didn't think about uh, the recycler hat on there. No poly loot for the main character. I think we're done with tri shops. No, we're not. Look at this. Look at me. Whatever, let's pick it up and scrap it. Oh, what we got? Well, I'm definitely not picking that up, so. Wood spray? No, thank you. Blimp, thank you. Give me the bear. Do we actually need to heal with Bungus right now? I have to. I'm going against everything I know and love. Back of energy worth not scrapping? Not in my opinion. I think it's pretty useless. Gives you more mines to put down. Like, I don't know. I'm gonna roll this and then reroll the equipment on this side. I'm gonna... Oh, I got steak instead. Sick. At least we have some good band proctors in our work shell. Nice, that's actually really good for the turrets. Alright, good luck. Oh, time to suck. <laughs> A scythe? Wrong. Ew. I think we're good. We just need a scrap. I keep the bungus for a bit. Might get a Vield's uh, potential here, so we will hold off. Are you using Reduce Recycler for all your runs now? I am. I mean, it's only after TP anyway, so it doesn't matter. Can I give her one more green? Not really. I mean, I could. I don't want to. Dude, stop. That's so much bungus. That's the thing I just don't like about the stationary turrets the most. It's just that they're stationary. I like moving around the map too much. I don't like setting up as much in a spot. You put your minds on allies so funny. He's playing with player friends with all my minds on my friend who was playing loader and he would swing into enemies and blow them up. Yeah. Uh, I don't really need two of these. They're not bad for turrets, actually, to keep them alive longer. Oh, okay, okay. Actually, I should have maybe kept that for the turrets too. Just for fun. Slug, I don't need it as much. Dude, I should have scrapped all of my wraps right there before picking that one up. Alright. I mean, this is a build that's like technically good enough to just survive in the bubble in fields, but you know. And that's what we're waiting for, baby. Ooh, yeah, a couple of these too. Not a pair outside for infinite damage. Yeah, but I need some healing inside to heal. But yeah, you might go to Vields. It's a little bit tricky. I'd have to find the right way down. Why open two and leave all the one multi shop? Because I don't want to sit here for an hour looting every single thing out of the multi shop when we can just be doing the TP. And I could open two and then open the last one later with a uh, with any item like a recycler. Big stage for Murph. It would be another card. All right. Oh, okay, thank god. I saw that trash shot just now, but we rebuild into another card, so it's okay. We're never punished. What do we get? Nice. Sneaky, dude. Did we risk this run by going fields? Right now. I think it's too late, I don't know. Hmm. Void Fiend is hella boring. I think Void Fiend's fun, but he is different than the other characters. Playstyle is very static. I'll just take it. I'm trying to get for an opal here. If I can. Or slug. If we are doing fields right now, which I could potentially do. I have so much stuff risking it though. I don't want to get rid of my wraps actually. Then make it out of here? No. Because we're going fields, and I don't have one guess, so I need it, actually. Careful. This is a part that's a little bit sketchy. Ow. Ow. I load of fall damage. Every time you punch, you die instantly. I've played characters with the grapple that have fall damage still. Elder Lemurian. <laughs> All right. I don't think we're gonna live. If we complete one vent, we can loot some stuff. 
But, uh, I mean, we're getting some money. This is probably the perfect spot, though. I want to get enough money to get everything, then, if uh, this is the strat. Kind of shredding. Yeah, if we were out in the open, that would be a little bit more difficult, but they are shredding pretty well. What are you? Slug? Eh. Tell me Nukahana doesn't go harder now? It wouldn't. I would not want it. I wonder how much we could do of fields, actually. 40 minutes, so, dude. Hey, 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 that's cheating, actually. You can't do that. You can't do that. Alright. I mean, uh, uh, sure. More bungus. That's that tougher time sprinter. It's actually not bad at all for these turrets, especially. It's pretty good. That sucks. Not again, man. Please. <laughs> Any other character, dude? Punish, dude, for getting a really shitty item on NG? Not punish at all. I'm not gonna pick up an afterburner. That shit is vile. It's okay, we'll get a red printer next stage and we'll be happy. They have wraps? That sucks. Our hero print's not worth it. You only get two more. I don't really think it's that big of a deal. I mean, you know, you get cooldown reduction on the first one, but... I don't want more rap suit. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Stop it, dude. What the fuck? I'm gonna print bears, actually. It's gonna be good. I don't think we need gas. I'm gonna keep the banner, actually. Banner is huge. Massive. That sucks too. <laughs> I mean, the good thing is that Templars are pretty expensive, I think, too. So I'm gonna spawn a lot of them. No, they're both pretty bad. Oh, we do have six wraps though, you're right. I mean, depends on what items they get, I guess. I'm really going for the defensive angle here, though. If they can actually do it, that'd be pretty cool. All this talk of uh, power defense got me in the mood, dude. Praying for normal, regular items for them to get watches. I mean, alright. It's not my favorite, though. The thing is, also, as we get more enemy types spawning in, we'll probably get less of these enemies specifically, so... That'd be better. I also have razor wire myself if I need to use it, which is really good. Bison. I think bison are more commonly spawned. I think they're still fucking annoying though, so. Like one could spawn behind us, I can Drive by your ass up the hill. I know, right? <laughs> Turrets are fucking carrying with this much defense. Blocks. Blocks. Oh, got him. This is the first green, yeah. Um. Eh. Is there a green print on the stage? No. Great. Thank you. They come from this way and that way, so maybe I could have put one there and there, but then they come from above. <clears throat> Try it, Bison. Don't stun him. So all that needs to happen now is they just can't get, like, Tesla and shit. And we're fine, I'm pretty sure. Guards. They're actually the most dangerous out of everything here. Ow. Let's see. <laughs> I'm in a little bit of trouble. I need to soak some pressure off this turret. A little bit spooky for a bit there. I mean, okay. Playing a turret outside the bubble for razor wire or inside the bubble for plimp? It depends on the situation. Probably the razor wire. Okay. I don't think they can actually proc bands, so we're good. Actually, the beetle guard could slam 
a ban, but stay strong, my friend. Don't give me fucking testicle. Even if they get testicle, I think maybe I could do it. Because they don't come near me, really. At least those good placements. I, mean, I don't know, we'll see though. We can have two really good spots up here. This is really good. I'm gonna make sure these come back a little bit so we have some backup. Also, if it's Tesla, do I just stick it out? Maybe. Behemoth. That sucks, but it's fine, I'm pretty sure. Again, it's just the beetle guards that are the big problem. Kurt seem to hook onto them quick. I think we're good. Unless something terrible happens in a couple seconds. We hold. No matter what happens, we hold. I mean, I mean, whatever it is, we're just rolling, so. Stress this is pretty good. Alright, it, it was good. But what a, uh, what a terrible potential <laughs> either way. Hey, we did fields. I haven't done fields in a while, so. Or like all of fields anyway. Was it a waste? I mean, yeah, probably, but that was cool. We did it for the experience. What a, what an interesting build to clear it with too. We just had so much defense. On the turrets. All right, I can get rid of some stuff that I was using for specifically here. Razor wire and stuff. Fungus. I mean, because I have so many bears, I might be able to use it a little bit. Do I want to keep all these bears? That's like what, sixty something percent chance to block on every turret. That's too many bears. We'll keep some, but not that many. Six wraps. Ah. Uh... Let's get like uh, seven, maybe. I think we're good and happy. Oh yeah, we're an hour into uh, stage five. Scav, no scav, unfortunately. I wish we could get one next stage though. How good would it be to get glue? Holy, it's always better for turrets to dodge and fresh a lot. How you can utilize different spaces. I mean, the thing is, I admit that bears are better for turrets by a long shot. But, hold on, I'm trying to get the key. Oh, hey, man. <laughs> but, uh, since if you die, it's over, I'd always prefer Saber Spaces. I mean, the turret side is not really going to overworld. That's why I prefer Wungus over Bungus, even when you have stationaries. Let's see what we get. Red Whip is good. Speed is good. ATG or Ruckler? That's really hard, actually. We already have a lot of defense, so I'll probably go ATG. I'll take a rep. More crit, thank you. Where's the uh, legendary chest, by the way? Because we're, like, ready for that. Oh, okay. Interesting shrine. I'll take it. It's good enough, and the reds we've been getting this run are... Terrible. So I'll take what I can get. Man. I'm not gonna be too picky about it. Ah, nice. Oh yeah, we want to go to Bortle. Uh, Bortle. Ow! Oh jeez. I thought I curved enough for it. I obviously didn't. Jesus Christ. Kind of. Oh, I blocked it. Okay. I used it. <laughs> Found a lot of damage. A Murn? A Neural? Okay. Not like they could have really used the Murn that much for Mythics anyway, so it's okay. I'm pretty happy with how the stage went though. Just one more little chest. It's beautiful. Alright, I see some... Hey. I see a lot of equipment, actually. Okay. I see a lot of equipment, potential here. And a lot of multi-shops, so. I don't see a scav, unfortunately. Kubo. That's not bad. I want to check all the multi-shops and equipments on the ground, make sure we don't have a card anywhere before. Oh, there's a scav. Hey. Gun. I really do want to use that gun, so. Here, take one of these. something else. Could get a worm here. We could get Embathy Cores. 
Obviously, we can reroll anything, so we're gonna use the gun at some point. Leech. The single leecher. I'm happy we got a scab though. I feel like I don't get them that much these days. There's my card. Safety bomb. That's not a bad print either. We have a lot of APGs, so. Oh, we have plump. Ah, never mind. Son is good. PSGs though. Good <laughs> tank up. Yeah. Prender isn't bad. Don't use two charges because that's why. I'm paying attention to what's actually happening. Gotta be careful. Alright, now we have two. We can spam it. Are we good on the card? I think we are. To reroll a few things and we're good to go. Alright. We'll keep the card there just in case you find some magic hidden fresh shop or something. I don't know. The recycler. Or can we be looking for probably a gun? But something like an egg would be really nice too. Well, it depends if we get saver space on the stage, but a blast shower could be huge. The ML, gross. I think we're gonna take a capacitor or a crunder. It's fucking gun time. Yay! <laughs> Alright, it's fine. If I roll in the Duke, I'm banning you. Pretty good damage. Alright, now we're, we're winning. Stay one. And a Ruckler? You shouldn't have. Let's get back to you. Yeah, I should um, reroll some stuff now while we're sitting here charging. Getting another feather, that'd be huge. I'll take a death mark. Let's grab on the stage. Nope. I'll get a little bit of sticky bomb, a little bit of ATG. Or not ATG, PSG. <laughs> now we have Churf. And Churf procs the fuck out of sticky bombs, so. Oh, I didn't even go underneath. I actually didn't. And I was right to keep the card. I was correct. The magical tri shop showed itself. Oh, I didn't reroll this. Hey, we might take the egg. Nice. Yeah. Third afterburner of the run. Is it rolling Aegis? I don't know. I'm getting rid of it though. Obviously. <laughs> it's gonna be like fucking 95 or more minutes before I get out of the stage. Of course, we're only gonna spend two minutes here, but I just have so much to reroll. Another death mark. Yay. Snowfall is huge. Crit is huge. Oh yeah, we're, we're pushing up the clock, baby. So uh, voids to get to. Dude, we have three wraps. We've actually gotten like legitimately not printing like 11 reps this run. That's crazy. So no scrapper? Nope. Somehow. Hello, beautiful. I mean, I'm gonna take it, but I want to really look doubly as hard for a scrapper because I don't know if I want that because like it's good. It's fine. But if we get something else. Uh, I mean, the only one we'd be going for is probably loot. And Void Scent, I don't want. I don't want another plump that badly. I mean, I'd take it, but I don't really want that badly. Fan, I'm not picking up. Benta Bobble, I don't really want that much. Hey, baby. Finally, the first Afterburner reroll that was good. We're not quite done yet. Ah, beautiful. Oh, man. Remember, buddy, we have 10 of these. I think I might take it. It's not bad. Reduces the cooldown. And then we'll take egg. We're gonna egg the hell up. How many... How much scrap we got? You have 11? Let's go... At least 6 in here. 
What are we at now? Eight sticky bombs. Eight's pretty good. Looking for a key box. We're gonna check out Soup. Those first four turrets. You can never go over three turrets. Sad to say. They're so slow, man. Dude, that was a lot of damage. That was a sticky bomb turf proc, too. Scorpion. That's pretty good. Another feather, which I'm taking no matter what. Any white soup upstairs? No. Damn. Dang. Ooh. That's not bad for what it it actually does. <clears throat> Let's skip pillars, shall we? I skip you. We actually don't have enough eggs to do it, so just with normal eggs, so. You can make it with like they have two of them also. You don't need to hop down one more time. All right. I save her spaces. How'd I put up my turret then? Sure, can get that. We got here pretty quick. all the panic I had to to uh, get back over that line so <laughs> that was a really good fight though that was a really good run overall <laughs> we did all of the yields all right stop stepping in this we're in the dough hit uh, whatever I got my saber spaces broken in the middle of the fight so I count that as a hit anyway good job 